Hi, I'm Morgan from Cardigan, and in this video I'm going to show you how to knit the neckline of your jumper. So to knit the neckline, we're going to start with one shoulder, knit that up, then we cast off some stitches in the middle, and then we knit up the second shoulder. So this video will take you through the whole thing start to finish. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to pretend that we are up to the point where we start our decreases for our neckline. So here we've cast on 40 stitches and the first step is we're going to knit the allocated amount of stitches back and forth for the first shoulder. Then we'll cast off some stitches in the middle for our neck hole and then we will knit back and forth on the far left hand side for the second shoulder. And in this video, we're going to do it in red so that you can see really clearly where we're starting to make those decreases. So depending on your pattern, you're going to start knitting, just like normal, the allocated amount of stitches until you get to your last two stitches. And so you can see that we've got our stitches on our right hand needle and now we've got two stitches here that we're going to knit together. So to do this, we put our needle through the two stitches like this. So we grab both of them and then we wrap our yarn around like a normal knit stitch and pull that through. And so there we go, we've got our first decrease. Now, this is where it can be a little bit tricky, but it's actually really easy. We flip our work over like this, and now we go back and we purl the stitches that we've just knitted. So we leave those stitches on our right needle because we'll come back to them later. So now we just start purling to the end of the row. So you can see that we've now finished that row of purl stitch. There we go. And now it's time to flip our work over because it's time to knit again. So we're going to knit the allocated amount of stitches until we get to that decrease stitch again. So now we're ready to knit these two stitches for another decrease. So slip your needle under those two stitches like this and then knit them together. And just like we did before, we flip our work over and we purl these same stitches. So depending on the pattern that you are knitting, you might do this over four rows like we've just done here, or you might do it over six, but the process is the same. So now that we've done our four rows, it is time to start casting our stitches off. So you can see here that they're all knitted, we've got that decrease in the middle, and now we start casting off like normal. So we've got that one stitch on our needle. We'll simply slip it off and cut our yarn. And then to secure it, we just thread the tail through the loop and create a bit of a knot like that. So now you can see we have our first shoulder done. Alrighty, time to reattach our yarn in the middle because we're going to cast some of those stitches off. So you can either tie a knot here like we're doing, or you can just leave a tail at the end. It's really up to you how confident you feel um, sort of keeping that yarn secure. But for the purpose of this video, we like to tie the yarn onto that, uh, that bar there or your stitch, whichever. The beauty of knitting is that there is a lots of different ways to achieve the same result. So just do whatever you feel the most comfortable. But we're going to start by casting some stitches off because this is going to create the neck hole. So knit your first stitch. And then knit one more stitch and then we cast it off. 
And so we do that for the allocated amount of stitches in your pattern. So once you've cast off that last stitch, it's time to transfer it over to your left needle. So we do this because the first step of the next section is to knit these two stitches together. So once that stitch has been transferred onto your left needle, you just slide your right needle under those two stitches, knit this stitch, and then knit like normal to the end of the row. And now it's time to flip our work over and purl the next row. So now rather than knitting the two stitches together at the end of the row, we're doing it at the beginning of this section. So knit two stitches together and then knit like normal to the end of the row. And then we have our last row of purl stitch. So we just purl like normal from the beginning to the end of this row. And because we're doing the shoulder panels over four rows rather than six, it's time to cast them off. So again, we cut our yarn, slide that stitch off, and then thread the tail through the loop to secure it. And ta-da, you've finished your shoulder panels. So it's a little bit tricky here because it's not a full piece, but you can see we've got one shoulder here with the decreases, and then the middle cast off section and you'll cover all of that when you pick up your stitches to create your turtleneck so don't worry too much about how it looks at the moment. <laughs> 